Hello guys, I welcome you back to the channel. Yes, so last time I posted something about gold uh, doing stop hands and all of that. <coughs> and I realized uh, I was off on one point, uh, which is where the stop hand was going to be. I remember posting to you guys this one on chat and explaining that when you see an obvious setup from gold, then it means it's going to have a stop hunt um, before it it goes up. Now, if you look at the current setup that we have here, it would seem that gold had a head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder pattern, and then started going up. And there was a slight dip here, which is to be expected, and then it continued going up. But now it came back down to this point. And this here is our stop hunt uh, for the buys. And it would look like it's about to spring up, right? It looks like gold is about to go up. It's going to go way into the 2020s. Like we anticipated, because remember we posted again that gold would ar go around 2023 uh, somewhere there before it reverses however i want you to notice something if you look on the four hour chart there is a descending channel all right the market is going down in fact let me draw this much better, in a much better way uh -huh. okay so that's the descending channel on the four hour chart and what is happening there is that we have a descending channel on the four hour chart and then we have on the h1 chart we have an ascending channel which is that so when these two meet right, the most powerful of the two is the four hour one right? we're expecting a sell in the long run remember we're expecting gold to go down into the 1970s uh, or the 1960s so what's happening here is that where these two meet right here is where we expect a very strong sell signal to come through and uh, that coincides there with that point over there and so we're expecting that gold would do a slight stop hunt to the top there and then start selling so i have already started my selling um because i do want to capture the uh, the trade uh, way before okay let me just get my trade hand right here all right so i want to i want to capture my trades before they go way 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 down so let me put my zero point Lost there. I already have 46 positions running. Uh, so let me put maybe. Okay, let me see how what's the maximum loss I can put there. 48 lots. I can put 48 lots. Uh, that's 50% of my account should handle 48 lots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. Um, another 20 positions of 0 0.2 loss Oops, 0 0.2 and positions I'm going to make them 20 right so no stop loss no take profit yes so okay so and I have 64 positions open. Let's see. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's just about 18 trades there. So the safest entry there would be at 2012 or 2013 about there 
and then the stop loss uh, of course remember this is a swing trade we are expecting that the market drops from around about 2010 right now to um, 19 let's just say for, for argument's sake right now 1970 right so from 2010 to 1970 that's about 400 pips which means our stop loss we can put it at 100 pips which is at 2020 right. so you can do that i think um, let me just add a couple of questions just for reminders sake uh, let me put six with the lot stop loss of um, how many pips 100 pips and take profit 400 pips right, and, uh, okay take profit right, then i can sell all right so if i look at my positions there i have my new positions with a stop loss at around 2020 which is 19.71 there and then this is my take profit 1969.71 almost 1970 so this is what i'm expecting hope you guys are learning or you are with me in this journey um have a good one